the Christian is shocked. It has an impact. This is called a way of communicating. When you quote from the scripture, he is shocked. Then come to the reason of science. You have a scientific answer. There are no less than 17 different diseases which a person can have when he has pork, the flesh of swine. TT. It causes more fat building here than muscle building material. Then go to logical answer. It's the filthiest animal in the world. It's the most shameless animal in the world. You should give the answer in certain levels. You may never know. One person will be impressed because the scripture says that is sufficient. The other person will say, I don't care if the Quran and the Bible says. Prove to me scientifically. Then you prove scientifically. So when you give an answer, it should be able to satisfy majority of the people. Your answer should not satisfy only a few group of people. The answer should be such, it should satisfy Muslims and non-Muslims alike. It's a technique. How many people are trained? We are full-time doctors. We are full-time engineers. We have full-time advocates. How many full-time guys do we have? The Quran says, as I quoted in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse 110, it's compulsory for everyone to dawah, at least part-time die. But the Quran says in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse 104, let there arise out of you a group of people who enjoy what is good and forbid what is wrong. These are the ones to attain felicity. Quran is speaking about full-time dais. There should be a group of full-time dais. It's the duty of the ummah to support them. When the Christian missionary says that pray, you know what he means? He means money. He means money. Jimmy Swaggart, who had a debate with Sheikh Ahmed Didad, every day he used to receive a donation of one million dollars to keep his head above water. One million dollars. He used to be seen on more than 150 countries on the satellite. That's in 80s, you know 80s. 150 countries used to be seen. One million dollar a day. When he says pray, people give him money. We Muslims, we do dua. We Muslims, Alhamdulillah. We do dua. Ah, ma aapke liye dua kare. Yo, we will do prayers for you. See, prayer is required. Allah's help is maximum that we require. We require duas. But the Muslims are a bit selfish. Majority of us. It's free, free of charge. When we ask actually to give something which will go away from material loss, they will not come forward. It's a shame on us. We are supposed to be the community which gives the maximum charity. What we require, we require training. It's an art how to communicate, whether in writing, whether in speech, whether in public, whether on the internet. It's an art. It's a different technique. We train in IRF how to do with a person if you're traveling in a bus. No, you will be with him only for about 20 minutes. Then you will get out. You may never meet with him ever in your life. He's a part non-Muslim. How to do with a person who you are going to spend 20 minutes is an art. You can't give a lecture. Okay, now I want to talk on concept of God, image, and religion. He'll listen to you. It's a technique. How you do dawah with your colleague who you meet in your office every day. How to do dawah with your classmate you meet in school or university every day. It's a different technique. You may be with him for a few years. How to dawah with your neighbor who you may spend 20 years with. It's a different technique. How to initiate. You can't say, okay, brother John, I want to talk to you about Islam. Please give me 20 minutes. He won't give you. You have to instigate him to ask you questions. It's a technique. How do you instigate him to ask you questions? It's a technique. You can refer to my cassette on techniques of dawah. But I've given talks how to instigate the person. He will tell you, please brother, give me half an hour. I want to know about Islam. That same man, it's a technique. Like how the people are giving us money to show our programs. Technique. How to speak on stage is a technique. What should your distance be from the mic? How do you move your hands? How do you modulate your sound is a technique. It's an art. The Christian missionaries, they are trained in Harvard University. Do you know that? They are MBAs. How many MBAs do we have in the field of Dawa? How many? How many? How many do we have? Very few, hardly if you search, you may be able to find. Alhamdulillah, we have in our foundation MBAs. Brother Naushan Nurani is an MBA. We have people who are medical doctors who are full-time dies besides myself. We have people who are trained. We want the cream of society. In the Muslim Ummah, what we have, that you put him in school. If he fails, you put him in Dawul Ulum. When he's unsuccessful, you want to put him in Dawul Ulum. We require the cream of the society to preach Islam, not the rejects. Alhamdulillah, yet we have great ulamas. It's because of Allah's help, it's not because of us. We require the best. 
You teach him about medicine, if he can pass MBBS, that means he has a certain level of intelligence. Let your one son or one daughter go into the field of Dawa. But no, oh, I spent lakhs of rupees for him to become doctor. How can I sacrifice my son who's going to earn for me lakhs of rupees? How can I? Oh, I've made him an engineer. I've flogged out the parents will say, how can he go for Dawa now? If he fails in lower classes, you say, oh, I've sacrificed my son for Islam. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. What are we? We require the best, we require the cream of the Ummah, not the rejects. In spite of that, Alhamdulillah, we have great scholars coming out from the They are doing hard work. They are doing good work, Alhamdulillah. But it's a shame on us. We require trained people. Islam always speaks about excellence, about the best. We are the Khaira Ummah, the best of people. Whatever we do, we should be the best. I tell the people that you may do a very small job. You may be a jhadwala, a sweeper, but be the best. Try and excel in that field. If you are a mochi or cobbler, be the best cobbler. As long as the job is lawful, it's halal, see that you excel in that job. We require the best of the people. And now media and communication is expanding. The whole world has become a globe. It's very easy to communicate. And if we Muslims, if we do not propagate the deen, I pity our state. See, it's nothing that happened to Islam. I'm not bothered about Islam. You know why? Allah gives a promise in the glorious Quran. Three places. In Surah Tawbah chapter 9 verse 33 and Surah Saf chapter 61 verse 9, Allah says, Huwa ladhi arsa rasoolahu biluda wa deenul haq liyu zira wa deen kulli pakal mushikun That Allah has sent his messenger with guidance and the reason of truth so that it will prevail over all the other ways of life. Over all the other isms, whether it be communism, secularism, atheism, Islam is destined to supersede all, overcome them all, master them all. However much the pagans don't like it, however much the mushrik don't like it. And Allah repeats the message in Surah Fatah, chapter 48, verse 28. Allah has sent his messenger with guidance and the religion of truth so that it will prevail over all the other ways of life, over all the other isms, whether it be atheism, communism, secularism, any religion. Islam is destined to supersede all, overcome them all, master them all. And enough is Allah as a witness. With or without you, with or without me, the rubbish that you and I are. What are we? Nothing. The rubbish that you and I are. With or without you, with or without me, Allah has promised that his deen of Islam, deen or haq, will prevail over the full world. Allah doesn't require you and me. Allah has his ways. Allah is giving us an opportunity to do a prophet's job and to earn a prophet's reward. It's a shame on us. Allah doesn't require you and me. Allah is giving us an opportunity. Make hay while the sun is shining. If you put your efforts this way, you'll go to Jannah. Allah doesn't require you and me to spread his religion. He's giving us an opportunity to make hay while the sun is shining. The Quran says in Surah Nahal, chapter 16, verse number 125, wal ma'azatil hasna, ahasan. Invite all to the way of thy Lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching and argue with them and reason with them in the ways that are best and most gracious. I would like to end my talk by giving the quotation of the glorious Quran from Surah Fusilat, chapter 41, verse 33, which says, Woman ahasanu kaala mimman ba'a illa lahi wa amilu salihaun wa kaala innani minal muslimin. Who is better in speech than one who invites to the way of thy Lord, works righteousness, and then says, I'm the first to bow to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa akhru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.